Alright, so if you guys watched the previous video, you guys will know that once again, we did bleach my hair. It had to be done two times, but later tonight we're actually going to tone it to give it more of a platinum icy blonde look. But today I'm just going to try and catch up on some work. I'm going to head to a co-working space, maybe do a little bit of editing and then catch up on some of my online classes. But I will explain as we go throughout my day. Yeah, I like your outfit. So right now I am at a co-working space here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Basically a co-working space is similar to a coffee shop, but rather than pay for the coffee, you actually just pay for your seat and a table so that you can do work here, you can do online classes, you can edit, whatever you need to can be done at a co-working space. It's actually owned by some of my friends who recently just graduated from Princeton. So I've been spending a little bit of time here. However, since all of my classes are going to be online and I'm going to be moving from different locations frequently, there's no better tool for me to stay safe online than the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark. If you don't know, Surfshark is a VPN or a virtual private network, which ensures all your information is safe and secure when you're using a public Wi-Fi network. So like I said, since I'm gonna be spending a lot more time online, having a VPN ensures that all my information is going to be safe and secured. Another reason that I use VPNs are to access movies that are outside of the United States Netflix catalog. Essentially, you can ping your IP address to any location in the world and allows you to access dozens of other TV shows and movies that aren't currently available to us in the United States. And the great thing about Surfshark is that you can actually access it on an unlimited number of devices, meaning you can share it with all the members of your family and be rest assured that your information is going to be protected. Now, if you head to the link in my description and use my code CHE, you can actually get 83% off and three months for free. This is going to be a great investment as you guys start your semester, so definitely head to the link in my description to check it out. So for the past few hours, I've been editing a couple of videos that I need to catch up on. I've also got a few lectures that I need to watch, and then I actually have a precept that I need to attend in about an hour. So let's get back to work. So I was there for like two or three hours, but now I'm gonna head home and we're gonna cook some dinner. All right, so I got back to the apartment. I've just been chilling for a little bit. I'm waiting for Becca to get back from her internship, but I realized I haven't really talked about why I decided to move to New York. Obviously with Princeton going online for the entire fall semester, I didn't want to spend another three to four months at home in Texas. As great as it was having my friends there, I definitely wanted to move to a place where I was able to at least I don't know, find some inspiration, find some sort of motivation for me to just not only just create content, but just be inspired and be motivated to work harder and push myself harder. And there's really no better place than that than New York City. The hustle or die culture is very much real here. You feel like every single day you have to be working because it's New York, what else are you gonna do? But at the same time, it's just a good place to come and relax. Like being in Brooklyn outside of the city has actually been a really great pace of change. You know, there were tons of different locations I was considering. I looked at Airbnbs in Korea, Chicago, LA, even Paris I wanted to be for a little bit. But I decided, you know, being back on the East Coast in New York City is gonna be a great option, especially for the fall semester. It allows me to be closer to my girlfriend. We have a lot of projects that we're working on together and just being in the same proximity space allows us to be more efficient in our workflow. You know, aside from that, I haven't had a ton of time to explore New York really because I've been in quarantine for the past two weeks, but I'm hoping slowly I'll be able to get a little bit more into the city and get back to my regular routine. But yeah, I just wanted to share some insights on why I decided to choose New York but I do have a video I need to get edited. I feel like I say that every single time, but there really are a ton of videos that are just on the backlog. I haven't really been editing a ton lately. I've just been kind of focusing on my first week of classes. And yeah, let me know how your classes are going down below. I definitely am interested to see how you guys are adapting to this online curriculum. There have definitely been a couple of struggles for me, just kind of motivating myself to actually watch the lectures in real time or schedule in blocks of time during my day to actually work on my homework. But yeah, other than that, everything's been going great. Becca's gonna get home soon. We're gonna cook up some dinner and then we're actually gonna 
gonna tone my hair. All right, neither of us really wanted to cook tonight and we were both craving Mexican food. And around us in Bushwick, there are actually some really great Mexican restaurants. So we got some tacos, quesadillas, and of course some horchata. If you don't know horchata, this is the best drink ever. Mm. Wow. You know when it's good horchata. When it's the large tub. Fire. All right, so we are entering the final stage of this hair transformation. Yesterday we bleached it twice, but it still had that orange yellowy tint. So this toner is gonna help color to a more icy platinum color. And yeah, we're gonna see how it turns out. And yeah. 